I made this music video and today I will talk about how I made it. I will mention all the important stuff, camera and lenses, lights, locations and a bit about post-production as well. I will link all the info about the band and their new album in the description. I used my Sony A7S Mark II, which I'm using to film right now, but I can show you the, the empty box, just in case you wanted to see that box. I mean, I used three lenses, Sony 1635 f4, which again I'm using right now, that's the one, Sony 55 f 1.8, that's the, the Zeiss one, and Sony 70 f 4. Everything was filmed handheld, apart from when I used this one, that was done on a tripod. So how did I use the lenses? First, I did a few takes with the wide-angle lens for the full band shots. Then I switched to 55, which is much tighter, and I focused on one person at a time. And yes, that means that the band had to keep playing the song over and over again as I moved from one performer onto another. But luckily, this meant that some of them could sometimes have a break just because I didn't need them in the frame. For example, when I filmed the drummer, the only other person who needed to be there was Chris, who was standing right next to him. Yes, you guessed it. When you shoot a music video, the band's not actually playing for real. You'd have your phone or CD player plugged in and you'd be playing the song in the room. But it's still important to record the audio on a day, even though you're not going to use it for the final edit. You need to have it so you can replace it with the actual track you get from the band. Now for the zoom lens, and this is probably my favorite part of the video. I put the main lights behind the band and I replaced them with two smaller ones in the front. I moved way back. I put the lens on the tripod and I zoomed right in. And this gave me a really nice perspective, especially with the big soft boxes behind the band. So good. Camera settings, shot in 4K, 25 frames per second, autofocus pretty much the whole time, don't have to worry about that. Aperture around f7 for the wide angle shot to have everything in focus, f4-ish for the zoom lens and pretty much the same for the 55. I saw a bit high at the times, especially for the wide angle again, but really it's not a problem, you just set it to whatever it needs to be for the right exposure and you just go with it because you know that the image is going to be great no matter what. Before I get to the lights, let's talk about the location. It is a barn in a small village, but it's not really used as a barn anymore. It's often used by the nearby church for some sort of, uh, of uh, gatherings of um, churchy kind. You can get the idea of what it looks like from these pictures my girlfriend took. Great place, but only one window, so not much sunlight. Well, now we can talk about the lights that I used. My main lights were two Pixar Pro LED 100D Mark II. One of them is on behind me right now. The great lights, they are daylight balanced, super strong and 95 CRI. I only diffused them with a bit of baking paper. The only time I use the big softboxes is when I put them behind the band. That's the softbox. And that's when I used my small LEDs, CN160. They're pretty good, fairly strong, powered by Sony batteries, and yeah, they, they were very, very useful. The lights did really, really well. I, I, was, I was really happy with them, but they are not silent. No, they're not. Um, there's a fan inside of them. It's just somewhere around there which cools the LED in the front. And this is fine for music videos, because you're not actually using the audio, but for anything else, probably not. On to the other locations. They are all shot in London. We got the shots of the Fabian office, place where George Bernard Shaw lived, London School of Economics, founded by the Fabians, 
and some cityscape shots of London. Now, I didn't just pick those locations and run them. The song is inspired by the Fabian Society, which actually I didn't know anything about before the project. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and look at the timeline. For color grading, I used two LUTs I got from Film Riot's Cinematic LUT Pack. It's full of great LUTs inspired by some well-known movies. I used Minority Report for the band and Breaking Bad for the London shots. I tweaked the intensity a little bit to get the look that I was going for. I didn't really do any color correction. That's because I do like to get as good image as I can get straight from the camera. Occasionally, I adjusted the highlights and exposure just a little bit. I also used a bit of vignetting to focus on what's in the middle of the frame. I used quite a bit of transitions, fading in, fading out, overlays. In principle, it's nothing complicated, it's very simple stuff, but when it's used well, it's very effective. I did some speed ramping and also some speed ramping in reverse. I really like what happened in this clip. You get the movement of the guitar overlaid with the same movement in the reverse and that gives you this really nice effect. The song gave me a kind of 90s feel, which I associate with this kind of transitions. This is just flipping over the clip, putting it on top of the same one, because it just looked cool. I hope this was useful if you're planning on shooting a music video or if you're just interested in cameras and all things related. If you have any more questions, just ask in the comments and I'll see you again.